In this session, we will discuss about the term mode fraction. Before that, you should know what are the components of a solution and their number of modes. Basically, every solution has two components, a solute and a solvent. So every solution has these two components, a solute and a solvent. The minor component of a solution the minor component of a solution constitute the solute and the major component is the solvent. Okay, for example, if I take 2 grams of sodium chloride and mix it with 9 grams of water to make 11 grams of a solution, 11 grams of a solution, then definitely this 2 gram is the minor component and which constitute our solute. So sodium chloride is the solute here and the major component that is the quantity in 9 grams constitute the solvent. So in every solution you have to figure out which one is the solute and which one is the solvent. Now you should know how many number of moles of the solute and solvent are there in the solution. For that For that, we need the formula number of moles, number of moles, number of moles of the solute of the solute will be, I can call this as number of moles of A. I can call this solute as A, component A and the solvent as B. You can give any names according to your convenience. I'm calling the solute as A and the solvent as B. So number of moles of the solute that is Na will be given mass of the solute given mass of the solute divided by molecular mass of the solute molecular mass. So this is the this is the formula for finding number of moles of the solute provided the given mass should be in grams. Okay. Similarly, the number of moles of the solvent, before that you, you can find how many moles of sodium chloride is there in the solution. Here, you know, there are 2 grams of sodium chloride, which means given mass of the solute is 2. And the molecular mass of the sodium chloride, for that, you can use the molecular mass of the individual components and add that to find the total molecular mass. For sodium chloride, there are only two components, a unit of sodium and a unit of chlorine. You know the molecular mass of sodium is 23 and that of chlorine is 35.5. 35.5. If you add this 23 plus 35.5, you get 58.5, which is the molecular mass of the sodium chloride or the solute. 58.5. Doing this, we will get the answer as 0 0.034. So, that is the number of moles of the solute. Similarly, you can find the number of moles of the solvent. For that, you have this is 2 divided by 2 divided by 58.5 is equal to 0 0.03. Similarly, number of moles, number of moles of the solvent NB. You know, we have taken 2 grams of sodium chloride and add it with 9 grams of water. So the given mass of the water, given mass of the solvent is 9 gram divided by molecular mass of water. So the molecular mass of water, the mo a molecule of water consists of 2 units of hydrogen that is 2 into molecular mass of a hydrogen 1 plus a unit of oxygen. You know the molecular mass of an oxygen is 60. 
So adding this, you will get 2, 2 plus 16, 18. So 18 gram is the molecular mass of water. So now at 9 divided by 18, you will get 0.5. Thus, the molecular number of moles of the solute is 0 0.034 and number of moles of the solvent is 0 0.5. Now you should now you can find the mole fraction. Mole fraction. We have mole fraction. The formula for mole fraction is mole fraction. There is mole fraction for solute and mole fraction for solvent. Mole fraction of solute, you can call that as XA, will be number of moles of the solute, that is NA, divided by number of total number of moles of the solution that will be Na plus Mb. This is the expression for mole fraction of the solution. And you already found out Na which is 0 0.034 whole divided by 0 0.034 plus 0 0.1. The answer for this is 0 0.64 approximately 0 0.064 so that is the mole fraction of the solute similarly the mole fraction of the solvent mole fraction of the solvent mole fraction of the solvent You can call that as xb x of xb is equal to number of moles of the solvent divided by total number of moles of the solution that is na plus nb which is equal to you know nb is equal to 0.5 na equal to 0 0.034 plus 0.5 doing this or solving this you will get 0 0.936 so that's the mole fraction of the solvent. Instead of doing this, instead of finding this way, you can also find the mole fraction of the solvent from the mole fraction of solute. That is every time Xa plus Xb, in all cases, mole fraction of the solute plus mole fraction of the solvent will be 1. So instead of doing this, you know, you, you already found out what the value of xa is. You can subtract, you can subtract this xa from 1, that, that will be your xb. Clear. Let's do some more questions so that you will be familiar with the process. Here, you are given 23 gram of ethyl alcohol, 23 gram of ethyl alcohol, and they have mixed it with 54 gram of water, 54 gram of ethyl alcohol, ethyl alcohol and, and 54 gram of water. So definitely this one is the solute. The minor component in the solution is the solute. So the ethyl alcohol is the solute and one which is and the major component here it is water and which constitute the solvent. Now, they have given the molecular mass of the ethyl alcohol, which is, which is 46. Now, number of moles of A, that is number of moles of ethyl alcohol, will be 23 given mass, given mass is 23, divided by molecular mass of ethyl alcohol, which is 46. 23 divided by 46, you get 1 by 2 or 0.5. Similarly, number of moles of the solvent Nb, here the given mass is 54 and you know the molecular mass of water is 18. They have given it here, 18 gram, 18. You will get the answer as 3. So the mole fraction of the solute or the mole fraction of the ethyl alcohol XA will be Na by Na plus N. That is 0.5 divided by 3 plus 0.5. 
Solving this, you will get 0.5 divided by 3.5, which is equal to, you can, you can multiply both the numerator and denominator with 10, you will get 5 divided by 35, which is equal to 5 in 5, 1 times, and 5 in 35, 7 times. So the mole fraction will be 1 by 7. Okay. Let's do one more question. Here, in this question, they have given ethylene glycol, which is 20 percentage by mass in aqueous solution, which means you have ethylene glycol, C2H6O2, dissolved in water, water H2O. So the solution consists of ethylene glycol and water. And they have given, there is 20 percentage of 20 percentage by mass in aqueous solution. That is, if I take 100 gram of the solution, 20 gram will be ethylene glycol and the rest 80 gram will be water. So definitely the minor component is the solute, that is ethylene glycol, which is the solute and the water is the solvent. Now you have to find the number of moles of ethylene glycol, that is Na. Na will be given mass, we have considered, they, they only given this percentage, 20 percentage by mass in aqua solution. So you can consider that as 20 gram. So 20 gram divided by, you should find the molecular mass of C2H6O5, or O2, sorry, C2H6O5. There are two units of carbon, so 2 into 12, 6 units of hydrogen, so 6 into 1. You can put the traces here, plus 2 units of oxygen, 2 into 16. So this will be 24 plus 6 plus 32, which is equal to 62. So the molecular mass of ethylene glycol is 62. So, so, so number of moles of ethylene glycol will be 20 divided by 62. On solving this, you will get 20 divided by 62. You will get point, approximately 0 0.324. 0 0.324. Similarly, Number of moles of the solvent, that is, that is solvent here is water, number of moles of the moles of solute, sorry, solvent. 80 given mass is 80 divided by, you know the molecular mass of water is 18. 18. On solving this, you will get 80 divided by 18. You will get approximately 4.44. 4.44. Okay, now it's time to find the mole fraction. So mole fraction of ethylene glycol, that is XA, will be number of moles of ethylene glycol divided by total number of moles in the solution, that is Na plus N. On substituting, you will get 0.324 divided by 0.324 plus 4.44. On solving this, you will get the answer is 0 0.06, approximately 0 0.0679. So that's the mole fraction of, that's the mole fraction of the solute. That is, here it is ethylene glycol. Instead of doing, instead of doing this fraction, you, you can find XB by subtracting XA from 1. So 1 minus Xa, which is equal to 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.0679, which is equal to 0 0.0679, which is equal to 0 0.932932. So that's the mole fraction of the solute.